Um, what's my script? So this is just a general list and you could have a script, but it's pretty simple. I like to say, so what, what I like to do, I start off and say, so here's our list. Let's say you got, I gave you guys a list, right? The guy answers. So first be ready because you're usually just going to dial through and no one's going to answer. But you can choose if you wanted to leave a voicemail. I personally wouldn't leave a voicemail. I'd leave a text. Uh, text is the best in my opinion. Most people are reading text these days. For a general list like this, it'd be like, hey, you know, my name's Max. I'm a, I have a fund and we're buying homes in your area. Are you open to a cash offer on your house? That's, you know, that would be my pitch. Your guys' pitch may be a little bit different. Um, so I would just you know, leave a nice text message. Just copy paste it, copy paste it. I wouldn't write a personal text message. That would just be it. But let's say I do get on a call with them. First thing I would say is, hey, is this Curtis? Right off the bat, that gets them like, whoa. How do they know my name? Right? When someone says your name, you immediately grab your attention. So I would start the thing called being like, hey, is this Curtis? My name is Max. I've presented myself and I got his attention. That's what works for me. I don't say, hi, my name is Max. And I want to do, no. hey, is this Curtis? I'm Max. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, who's this? I'm like, well, I'm already, well, he's like, I'm going to be like, wait, this is Max. Do, do, do I know this guy? Do I know a Max? And then they start to think, right? And I'll be like, Hey, Curtis, it's so great to talk to you. Thank you so much for, you know, taking the time. Uh, you know, I, I have a fund, you know, I'm a real estate investor. I have a fund and I'm buying homes in your area. and just want to know if you're open to a cash offer, something like that. And then you're going to be probably going to be like, no, nah, you know, I'm not, not interested. And it's like, Hey man, you're already on the call with me. Please just give me two minutes. Can I just get all the information and send you over a cash offer in the next hour? Dude, I'm not trying to sell my house. Curtis, it's a free cash offer. I'm happy if you say no to me. Just wanted to make you an offer. Dude, stop calling me. Curtis, for 60 seconds, and I'm going to tell you what your home's worth. Isn't it worth it to you? I just don't give up. I, I will not give up. When I give up is when they hang up. They hang up, all right, I'm on to the next call. But I will never hang up the call first. And that's the whole pitch. It, it, it's that simple. So let's say you get someone who's open to it. Then it's... Uh, you know, th then you just go with the back and forth. Okay, cool. They may say, fine, what's my home worth? How much you want to buy it for? Curtis, Curtis, slow down. I don't know how much you want to buy for your house. I need to know a little bit more about it. Have you done any work to the house? It's a beautiful house, Curtis. I see it here on Google. Then, then if we get a call going and they answer, I'm like, oh, shoot. Okay, let me actually start to start to work here. So then I go on my phone. I'm like, yeah, wow, what, what a beautiful house in Plano. Oh, it's such a beautiful tree in the front yard. It looks great. And that fireplace probably gives off a lot of nice heat, Curtis, right? You just have a conversation now. Now I'm panicking. I'm looking up the address and everything. And then, you know, th then we're having a talk and we're going, I'm like, you know, the house looks beautiful, but Curtis, like, it's a little bit of an older house. Like when was the last time you did any work to it? Right. So that's the first question we're trying to get at. Number one is like, what work? Is this a brand new remodeled house? Because if it is, we're probably not interested, but if they haven't remodeled in the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, Perfect. Now we're very interested, right? Or if they have remodeled it recently, then I start thinking creative. Ooh, subject two. Ooh, seller finance. But I always lead with cash first. Because if you get on a call and you're like, hey, I just want to make you a quick cash offer, right? That's a lot better of, hey, I want to take over your loan payments. I know you don't know who I am, but you should absolutely trust me. That's a tough pitch. We can always backtrack into creative at the end if cash doesn't work. But let's gain their trust and get their attention with cash. So that's what I would do if they did answer. So just to recap, if you guys have questions, please feel free to ask them. Hey, is this Curtis? My name is Max. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What, 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 is this, do, do I know Max? What, what, what's, what's up, Max? Dude, all day long, people call me, and I, I'm sorry, I'm the best bullshitter. So half the times I don't save your guys' phone numbers on my phone. And it's like, hey, Max, it's, uh, it's, it's John. And I say, John, what's up, man? I, dude, I miss you, John. I, I, I don't remember who John is. Right. So, you know, I do this. So I pretty much just write these scripts or, or do this stuff just like how I would. Right. Set. And if you have a, a, a name like Alistrada, well, it's probably not going to work as well for you because no one has your name. But if you have a very common name, this works really well. Because I'd be like, damn, I think I know a Max. So, anyways, then we're talking. We want to get repairs. Right. Just want to get a really good rundown of the house. Want to know when they last redid, especially the kitchen and the bathrooms. That's your most important. Then you also 
want to know, hey, you know, when did you replace like the HVAC? When did you replace the water heaters? When did you replace that stuff? If you have a conversation that's going, you also want to talk about the roof and the foundation. Super important. That's repairs. Then guys, always sprinkle in some conversation with the sellers. Man, Curtis, how long have you lived in the house for? 50 years? You're the original buyer? Tell me, what was that neighborhood like 50 years ago? Dallas has changed that much. You're telling me there was just farmland around you, Curtis? That's crazy. Tell me some crazy stories about that. If you get them on the phone, guys, become their best friend. Spend an hour on the phone talking about their life, talking about their grandkids. That's what it takes, right? So become their friends. But so, okay. But the information we need is repairs on the home, a general estimate of what they want, right? It's like, okay, Curtis, I get it. You want me to write you a cash offer? Just, you know, I'm not here to waste your time. Sort of, what do you what do you think your house is worth, right? You know, and if you're not prepared for that, ask them like, you know, hey, what are you going to, you know, do with all this money that you're going to get? You're going to go buy a, a mansion out in a different state? Like, get an idea of what they need the money for. If they come back to you like, hey, no, man, I got some bills to pay. You know, my son is sick. Okay, well, there's a motivation there. If it's just like, I don't know. Oh, it's like, okay, maybe he's not that motivated. So I look for the motivation. As Pace Morby says best, you look for the bunnies. You keep digging in the conversation. And the more you do this, you'll you'll be able to ask questions that feel to the seller like you care about their lives, which you do. But in reality, what you're digging for is the bunnies, right? Just like on that first call I made with that very nice lady. I was like, wow, you own so many properties. That's so great. What are you going to do with all this money? Why are you selling your portfolio? I was actually digging for questions. But, in re but what she thought I was doing was just building a rapport. So those are the thing you want to get. The other thing you want to get once you get through those questions, the motivation, the bunnies, find the bunny, like Pace Morby says, is timeline. Hey, so, you know, let's say I wrote you a great offer. Like, when would you sell? You ready to go now? You have everything packed up? Do you need a lease back? You know, when do you need to sell? And that's really the most important. You know, there's a few other things you want to get, but that's the majority of the information. So does that make sense to everybody? Is there anything I missed? What questions do you have before I keep I keep continuing calling?